this is the most effective and fastest way to optimize your off the grid game and i'm gonna show you how to do that this is my second video on this topic and by far the most complete one i'm gonna give you a batch file that you can copy and paste in the game save folder and then it will automatically change all of your settings without any hassle first we'll add the ultimate performance mode on our windows in order to do that we have to go to the powershell and we have to type this exact code you can just copy and paste the code from the description below optimizing windows is an optional step but highly recommended so after adding the ultimate performance mode we'll go to the start menu and type power plan and we will open the menu and in my case it is already on ultimate performance mode but in your case it might be on balance after that we're gonna change the settings on nvidia control panel so we'll come here and we'll add the, our program our program will be found on off the grid g1 binaries win64 this is where you'll find the game exe file and we, we're gonna add that and we're gonna change a couple of settings here so just copy and paste my settings from here and hit apply and one more thing don't forget to check your task manager to see if there is any unwanted program eating up your memory and cpu in my case i always close the google chrome before i play the game because it takes a lot of ram now let's get into the game first i'm gonna show you how the game looks and performs without my optimized file so this is the lowest possible settings that you can set in the game so let's head into the training zone and see how the game performs now before optimizing so you can see we're getting 86, 84, the average FPS is 83, 1% is 53, memory uses is 94 which is pretty good. So we're gonna spend a couple of more seconds here to see any performance drop. But we're all good so right now we are on the warm up and this is where I'm getting 50, 40, average is 46 fps so not that good it's not playable and keep that in mind i am running the game on 2560 into 1440p on the ground i'm getting 60 70 but it's not stable the average fps is still 52 71 so let's close the game and go to the save folder and just copy and paste the optimized batch file and run it that's all you don't need to do anything i already updated the code so you don't even have to check the read only file the download link will be on the description below so let's launch the game and see how it performs now so we're on the game and look at the settings we have dlss on and render distance on but everything else they're not even set to low they are just gone, vanished and it will be also vanished from the game but it will not change any of your other settings only the settings that I want to change so everything else will be the same and let's go to the training zone and see look at the difference the graphics looks completely different but look at the FPS look at the frame rate we are getting 140, 138 the average is 136, 138 that is almost double that is almost 100 percent increase of the performance we're gonna spend a couple of more seconds here to see if the performance is stable and now we're on the warm-up menu and we can see we have a very good increase of performance here too we're getting over 100 frames almost consistent and if we want to compare that to the our previous file our previous settings let's see the difference here huge improvement huge from 68 to 110 almost 100 percent and now i'm going to show you how it will perform on the actual game but it matters the most so i'm going to show you a couple of clips here and a couple of more places on the game on different times on different places with the gun shots and the gun fights and everything included so you will have idea how it will perform in game so in game we're not gonna get 100 fps all the time it will drop but most important thing that it will be consistent and you will be consistently getting like more than 60 fps 
so that is a huge win and if you are still watching the video please let me know on the comment section if this is working for you if the file is working properly if anything needs to be changed or if you are facing any bugs let me know i will try to fix that and thank you for watching the video see you guys next time and enjoy the gameplay Someone's flipped the big red switch in Little Kiev and are extracting the hex right now. successful. Installing drivers. The hookshot arm installed. <laughs> 